evening here in good old Oklahoma, 7 p.m. We're about to head out and milk the goats <sighs> and do stuff outside. It's like impossible to do anything in the heat of the day, so you have to kind of wait for work. You don't have to, but I did. I'm waiting for the sun to go down behind the trees so I can work outside for a little bit. I was outside earlier watering all of the plants. It's been miserable here. It's so, so hot, but it sounds like, sorry, that garage door is really loud. Um, but it sounds like it's been hot a lot of places in the United States at the moment. Let the chickens out around 1 p.m. today, so I had to make sure I got my whacking stick because my rooster is a little bit of a joik. Violet and Goldie. And here come the Polish girls. That's sweetie. Hi, girl. It is hot. And then we got Gizmo and Fancy are coming. No, we got a little floof. Snow. And then Mama. And two babies. I have to get the chickens up before I start milking because I cannot trust my rooster if I turn my back. It's really inconvenient actually to have him be so mean, but I'm kind of thinking this little Polish chick that hatched might possibly be a rooster. Yeah, look at him. I think you would learn. I've whacked him good enough. He's had his beak broken twice from my husband. I don't know why he's so aggressive. Actually, that was one of the reasons I wanted to get Polish chicks uh, when I got originally got them is because I saw that they were <clears throat> more uh, tame, not as mean and aggressive. That is not the case for him. All right, the girls are patiently waiting for me and they're fencing. We've got them in this Premier One fencing, so I have to run them back and forth every day. And I also have to check the weather because obviously you don't want them in there whenever it's gonna rain. Um, which it was raining a lot, but we're kind of in a dry spell right now and it's really hot. So they've been good. They've been enjoying all of the fresh, fresh grass they've been put on. So we're gonna get them ran back over into their area and I'm gonna start milking them. at the moment I do Dolly and Reba the others still have babies on them which technically Dolly also has babies on her I've just noticed she doesn't really let them eat very much during the day so I'm trying to keep her supply up and I'm milking her at night I probably could milk the others too but my husband a lot of the time is at home whenever I am milking them so I have Freya so I'm trying to hold off as much as I can and as long as I can before I'm going to be milking all four of them in the evenings. She's pretty good about um, wanting to help and <clears throat> not being too much trouble, but it's definitely hard whenever you have a little one and you're trying to milk and do chores. My mom came over earlier today and we have already started discussing the fall garden. Like I said earlier, it's just gotten so hot so quickly. It went from being really mild. I mean, it was really mild. Just even just three weeks ago to being the index of 110, 
10 plus. Whew. It's hard on everybody. Normally it doesn't get this hot until July. Mid-July, August, so. Tomorrow, my mom and I have been discussing what we're going to do to kind of expand the garden with everything going on just around the entire globe. I think it's really important to prioritize your food if you can. So that's what we're doing. Again, I'm not sure what our yield's gonna look like this year. We got our first cucumber today off of our cucumber plants. And I felt like they were already a little bit bitter, which happens when it gets really hot here. Tomatoes, or not the tomatoes, the um, cucumbers start turning bitter. But we're planning on doing a, a lot this fall in the garden. Tomorrow, hoping to get a couple more areas, a couple more larger areas, tilled up with the tractor and prepped so we can plant more. So we'll see how that goes. We're inside a lot more during the day and I only try to come out in the evening, especially once the sun's gone behind the trees. It's still pretty hot, but much more manageable. I was outside watering flowers a little bit ago and I was drenching wet from sweat. So the last couple days we've been inside a lot more than normal. And yesterday, I was very ambitious and decided to cook. And I was in the kitchen from three to probably six. I had a lot of milk and then I had whey. So I made ricotta cheese and mozzarella cheese. And then after I did all that, I decided to make lasagna, which was if you've never made lasagna from scratch, takes a little bit. It probably took me about an hour and a half to make the sauce and cook everything and then assemble it. <laughs> but it was fun. Oh, I also dehydrated some goat's milk too for the first time. See how it goes and then I'll share with you guys some tips if you guys are interested in that. I'm just trying to find ways to help what we have an abundance of is in the summer stretch into the winter and I feel like powdered milk would be a really good way to keep the milk. Um, we had a lot that we kept in the freezer last year and I just felt like it took up a ton of space. I'm still trying to get through it from last year. However, uh, what's frozen from last year I'm using mostly for like cosmetic things to make, to make cos cosmetic things like lotions and soap. All right, we got Dolly in the stand. Knock her out real quick. She's pretty quick. Reba always takes me the longest because she likes to tap dance and really make me work for it. After I'm done with them, um, my little girl's already in bed. She had a really early nap day today, which meant really early bedtime. So my husband's inside with her. It's his day off. <laughs> Which means I kind of get the evening to be outside, which tends to be what happens quite often when he's home. I get to do uh, chores and stuff that I need to be doing outside done. I have a bunch of flowers I need to pick. And I need to see when amaranth is ready to pick because my amaranth is getting really, really big. And the heads on them are starting to look like they're almost flowering a little bit. So I want to make sure I'm on top of that so I don't miss the window for picking them. Yesterday, Freya and I were outside a lot of the morning picking flowers and I still have a lot I need to go see if they're ready tonight to pick. I love this time of year. My house is filled with flowers and it is the best thing ever. But one thing nobody talks about with picking flowers and having them inside is that they are kind of messy in the bugs. If you don't shake the flowers out, you get bugs inside, like the zinnias. I've got little spiders that like to hide in them. So I, I always have to make sure I am uh, kind of shaking them out pretty good before I bring them in. See how easy she is? She just literally stands here so nicely. It's crazy. Most of them do, except for Reba, but Reba has gotten a lot better 
as the year kind of progresses, they remember pretty quickly what it's like to be milked and they'll start finding a little bit better. We're kind of at that stage of the season where we're starting to get the groove. Everybody is <clears throat> and we can get pretty quick. I'm still trying to decide if I want to milk all four of the girls I'm milking right now. I have five. Uh, I dried Loretta off because her teats are so small, which Nigerian dwarf teats are really small, but hers are like extremely small and the milk does not come out, come out very quickly. So I feel like I'm milking her forever versus like Dolly. I can milk her out in, I swear, like less than five minutes. She's so still and she lets her milk down for me really easily and we get done real quick. So um, Reba is a really big pain to milk, but I feel like she's got the most milk all the time. So I don't really think I want to dry her off. Um, I'm thinking I might dry Patsy off this year, but also this year I'm using the milk a lot better than I did last year. Last year I had a lot that I was like unsure of what to do with it, which is silly, you know, but it was my very first year milking and I was, and I only milked two last year. I guess I milked Dolly for a, Dolly for a little bit, but I only milked Crystal and Reba last year and I had so much milk that I did not know what to do with. I was vegan for three years from probably 2000. Let's see, I got married in 2019 and I was still vegan in 2019 whenever I got married in June. So 19, 18, 17, 16. I think I started being a vegan in 2016. 2018, 2019. Yeah. And that was a slow process going back to eating animal products. And it took me some time to get back to drinking milk. I used to drink milk all the time, like glasses of milk with dinner whenever I was, even in college at NSU, whenever I first started going to college. And I went vegan for health reasons. Three years did that and then started feeling kind of yuck, which a lot of vegans that are no longer vegans will tell you that. And everything I went back to pretty quickly, um, but drinking just milk by itself kind of grossed me out for the longest time. I don't know why. So last year I was still kind of in the phase of trying to figure out what to do with it because I was not just where I would just drink it. <clears throat> this year I've gotten a lot better. I put it in with my coffee and like for cereal, I'll drink it with cereal. I'm still not to the stage of just pouring it into a cup and drinking it just yet. Um, but this year I'm definitely handling it a lot better and it doesn't taste as goaty to me. Whereas last year, even like the cheese I made tasted really goaty. Whereas this year, the cheese is like bomb. I just got Dolly off of this stand and we're in the goat's area. I still have to go and put my little boys up over at my parents' house. Come here. He's so pretty. Look at them being crazy. They get so crazy when it's time to eat. I still have three little babies I need to find a home for. I haven't even posted them online. I did once and I had quite a bit of interest, but nobody's serious. So I need to post them again. Probably gonna drop the price a little bit. See if anybody wants them. The market right now is just totally flooded. My dad and I were talking a couple nights ago about how it might just be best to hang on to them for a couple more months and wait for everybody to sell the babies they have now and then selling them because I'd be able to sell them for a little bit more instead of lowering my price. Holy crap. Well, that is a little bit concerning. I don't know what that was. Did you guys hear that? It's like an, explos an explosive went off. Yeah, I've got uh, these three little girls, still got four little boys I need to sell. And hopefully we'll sell them soon or I'm just gonna have them for a little bit longer. <laughs> Who knows, only time will tell. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the goats up and go take care of everybody for the night and then I'm gonna get gardening a little bit and then 
to go inside because I'm already sweating so bad and I'm not even halfway done with my chores. <laughs> you guys have a good night. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.